The next operation we want to discuss regarding matrices is addition. So let's say we have two matrices A and B and we want to add them together. Well, there is a uh, requirement here that if M is M times N, so it has M rows and N columns, to be able to add these, B must have the same dimensions. So let's look at two uh, matrices, 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, 0, 1, minus 1. And this will be A, and B is equal to 2, 5, minus 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, 1. A plus B is formed, well, the first, well, element, um, it will consist of three by three elements. The element in the top left corner will be the sum of the elements uh, in the top left corner of the two matrices. So that will be equal to one plus two, which is equal to three. This one will, um, in the top row in the middle, will be three plus five is equal to eight. Then we get four minus one is three. The next row, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 0, 5 times plus 2 is 7, and for the bottom row we do the same. So adding two matrices together is the same as adding each element. Now if we have a matrix A, uh, let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 2, we can multiply this matrix with a constant. So we can determine Ka. And multiplying a matrix by a constant is nothing other than multiplying each element by that constant. So if I wanted to calculate 2 times A, then we would get 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times minus 1, and 2 times 2, and if we calculate that, that'll be 2, 4, 6, 8, minus 2, and 4. So multiplying a matrix by a, um, a scalar, so we have scalar multiplication, we just multiply each element by that number. And formally, if we have uh, A is an M by N matrix, which I can write as A11, A12, all the way to A1N. And then we have our rows, AM1, AM2, all the way to AMN. So if this is our matrix A with all its elements, then K times A is equal to K A11, K A12, all the way to K A1N, down to K A M1, K A M2, all the way to K A M N, and we have all the elements multiplied by this constant. The next step will be multiplying matrices, but we'll leave that for the next video.